Rare disorders in general can affect 4 or 5 percent of the population. We still have several hundred million patients in the world that await their diagnosis. By learning more about these diseases, by being able to look for new variants that we couldn't see before, maybe we can help to have an impact and improve human health. The Clinical Long Read Genome Initiative is a collaboration of the university clinics in Berlin, in Hannover, Aachen and Tübingen. Our goal is to bring nanopore sequencing into clinical routine diagnostics for rare diseases. By sequencing the genome, you can find variants in these genes that can explain why the patient has the disease. And we can also, based on the knowledge of which gene is affected, we can select personalized treatments for the patient. We work in a multidisciplinary group focused on the, uh, these rare cases with antithromine deficiency by nanopore sequencing the whole genome. We discovered a retrotransposon insertion that was a very big genetic rearrangement that was the, the responsible of this disorder. It has been a very powerful approach. The new Centre for Alzheimer's Disease and Related Dementia's main aim is to sequence thousands of human samples to get a better understanding of the genetics that's driving Alzheimer's disease and related dementias. The long read sequencing means that we're able to look at more complicated forms of genetic variation and then we can start to build a picture of the biological mechanism that's involved and then ultimately the goal is to use that information to be able to develop better therapeutics so that we can slow or stop disease. here at Johns Hopkins University. We're trying to develop new tools, new methods that use the latest sequencing technologies to explore human disease. One of the things that we're doing is sequencing hundreds of samples of different human origin to look at disease versus control state and, and to understand what's actually happening. Are there variants, are there familial variants, inherited variants that we can screen for and help guide clinicians? Without sequencing technologies, we wouldn't know the majority of causes of the more than 8,000 rare diseases. We still have some way to go. We need the right methods to provide every patient a clear diagnosis and select their treatment. Because our projects are so large scale, Nanopore was really the only technology that allowed us to do it. And we're really excited to generate this data and get to start analyzing it to really look at the variation that could be contributing to disease risk. Antithromine deficiency is not very explored in the scientific community. And here we think that Nanopore sequencing will give light and very important information about the disease. We are solving cases that were not solved by other techniques. Now with the Prometheon and the yields that we can get and the accuracy we're getting from the newest poor, it's now within our reach to actually apply single molecule sequencing to larger scale human genomic studies, to bridge that gap, to actually get from the research from the bench to the bedside. Long-range sequencing is opening these new vistas, and I'm excited about the capabilities and the potential for that.